are the cells inside of Earth's body to keep Earth alive. And as the sun is affecting the Schumann resonance, the cells inside of Earth's body, which is us as organisms, become affected by the sun's UV rays or solar flares by the sun. So as we continue as a collective to raise our consciousness and vibration, Earth's heartbeat will continue to raise in frequency. Okay, this is the past 24 hours. I woke up this morning and thought, I'm gonna see a rainbow today. It's December, I live in New England. I go out on my morning walk and sure enough, there's a rainbow. No vibration, you ain't gonna make it through this shit. The frequency gonna go so high. It's just the start of this, man. Hey, what's up, family? Today we'll be talking about how Mother Earth has awakened. She has been handing out ass whoopings to all those who are evil and wicked. But she also been raining down blessings for those who go by the universal law. In order to stay in Big Mama's house, you have to go by the rules. They are scared, saying the earth could be destroyed by 2025. But you guys must understand, 2025 equals 9, the year of completion. So from 2023 to 2025, it's an event taking place. These are the new energies and upgrades that have been going on. We have been having huge solar flares hit the planet, X being the highest solar flare. We used to have A and B solar flares. We don't even have them no more. We have all, all right. big ones. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube. Look, man, I got a, <laughs> I got a crazy video for y'all here today, as y'all can already tell. But look, man, it takes time to put these compilations together and check them for copyrights and edit these things. But look, all I'm asking you for one thing, though, smash that like button, put your notifications on always so you can get these videos as soon as they drop. That's two things. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. Don't play with me. <laughs> Yo, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and support my vlog channel. Tribing with Dre, just dropped my first video. I got many more uploads to come for that channel right there. I'm gonna be consistent on that channel as well. You know, y'all know how I do. Once I once I dedicate to something, I'm gonna continue to do it. You know what I'm saying? But look, man, I appreciate y'all for supporting me, but go over here and support my other channel. If you don't see a video uploaded over here, more than likely, I'm over there with Tribing with Dre. I got a whole bunch of stuff in the works that's happening for you guys, but look, it's, it's, it's a lot of cool stuff that's gonna be happening with the other channel too that you're not gonna get over here. The link to that channel will be in the description down below. All you gotta do is click that link and then it'll take you directly to the channel. But look, hopefully y'all been having a good day. Man, just know if you're not, man, we're going through this thing called life together. We tribed up over here, positive vibes only. Make sure you don't believe anything in these videos. You always going out here and doing your own research. Look, we are not, we're not a part of the herd right here. We are the ones breaking away from the chains and we're independent thinkers so look i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all for vibing with me and vibing with me on this frequency but look things are changing i don't know if y'all can notice around y'all but things are definitely changing and you know what i'm saying i think that we are a big part of this man but look let's tune into these frequencies let's hop into this video without further ado just smash that like button share with your friends and family let's get it we don't we don't even know when they were built but why would anyone care for suggesting that our historical timelines were wrong and there had in fact been advanced civilizations in earlier moments in time and that they had been eliminated somehow through climactic events through natural disasters and that we're not aware of that in any detail kind of seems to be true well why don't we know that and what does it tell us about ourselves and about the past that we don't know that's what i would think people would ask and i know that what i learned as a kid is wrong what do we know about civilizations uh -huh. and the answer is like basically yeah. nothing did you read about tartaria human is another interesting word it appears nowhere in the bible but you look up the definition of human in black's law and it says sea monster and so you flip to monster and you look up the definition for monster and it says one that cannot own or inherit property now all governments have human resource departments and all corporations have human resource departments isn't that interesting job is another interesting definition job is defined as public business or private dishonest gain is the definition of job
we building. Keep watching. I love that clip. They are trapping your soul within the earth. You are body, mind, and soul. The soul is the watcher, the observer. The mind is the projector. The body is what the soul lands in when the mind projects you into. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are the consciousness experiencing the program being ran by the central nervous system. The central nervous system is playing the simulation that your consciousness is experiencing. Now, your body is the Earth. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. The body's the mark of the beast of the simulation. The soul-luring system is within yourself. The seven planets are the seven chakras. They are the seven seals in the Bible because they seal your true soul form. What the Archons are doing are keeping you in the lower states of consciousness by chemical food addictions and keeping you in fear so you identify as the physical body. Because the mind is the bridge between the soul and the body. By tricking your mind, it traps your soul in this physical body, which is the earth. Death has the word ether in it because when you die, you go from the physical to the astral plane. If you die with a false identification of the self in the lower states of consciousness, you will die with an extra veil on top of your soul which you need to strip off, which will then cause you to reincarnate into the physical world. The devil is de-veil. You de-veil yourself by lack of knowledge and wisdom of the self. Physical is the Phi cycle. This is Phi, the Taurus field, the cycle of the Taurus field. Birth certificates are basically the cooperation that you represent because you are identifying yourself with the physical body, the name. Because we have agreed that we are the body and we are the person on the paper, they have control over us on paper. Circles are the eternal plane, triangles are the ethereal, square is the physical. This is why we say think outside the box. Da Vinci was showing you the man in the box and the famous toy of Jack in the box. In order to go from matter to spirit and ascend up to God, which is not God, it's your true soul form to get yourself out of the simulation, you have to detach from all of the physical world and detach your mind from these material things. All the fast food restaurants are red, orange and yellow because they're keeping you stuck and bound to the lower states of consciousness, the materialistic chakras. Do you want to bet? They are trapping your soul within the earth. You are body, mind and soul. The soul is the watcher, the observer. The mind is the projector. The body is what the soul lands in when the mind projects you into. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are the consciousness experiencing the program being ran by the central nervous system. The central nervous system is playing the simulation that your consciousness is experiencing. Now, your body is the earth. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. The body is the mark of the beast of the simulation. The soul-luring system is within yourself. The seven planets are the seven chakras. They are the seven seals in the Bible because they seal your true soul form. What the Archons are doing are keeping you in the lower states of consciousness by chemical food addictions and keeping you in fear so you identify as the physical body. Because the mind is the bridge between the soul and the body. By tricking your mind, it traps your soul in this physical body, which is the earth. Death has the word ether in it because when you die, you go from the physical to the astral plane. If you die with a false identification of the self in the lower states of consciousness, you will die with an extra veil on top of your soul which you need to strip off, which will then cause you to reincarnate into the physical world. The devil is de-veil. You de-veil yourself by lack of knowledge and wisdom of the self. Physical is the Phi cycle. This is Phi, the Taurus field, the cycle of the Taurus field. Birth certificates are basically the cooperation that you represent because you are identifying yourself with the physical body, the name. Because we have agreed that we are the body and we are the person on the paper, they have control over us on paper. Circles are the eternal plane, triangles world and detach your mind from these material things. All of the fast food restaurants are red, orange and yellow because they're keeping you stuck and bound to the lower states of consciousness, the materialistic chakras. Do you want to bet? How did the number 666 become the sign of the devil? 
the association of the number 666 with the devil roots from the book of Revelation. Revelation 13, 18. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. Revelation 13 describes a vision seen by the Apostle John, where he witnesses a beast rising from the sea. This beast is often interpreted as a symbol of evil and opposition to God. The verse states that the number of this beast, also known as the mark of the beast, is 666. The association of 666 with the devil or evil is further reinforced in Revelation 14, 9, 10. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. This passage warns about the dire consequences of accepting the mark of the beast, which is linked to worshipping the devil or embracing evil. The mark serves as a sign of allegiance to the evil power represented by the beast. Revelation 16, 13. Then I saw three impure spirits that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. In this verse, the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet are depicted as representing the forces of evil and deception. The beast's number, 666, is closely associated with these malevolent entities. Hey, we building here. Keep watching. First of all, like I said, we're trying to get you to start thinking 98% of your biblical scriptures are talking about on the inside other than the outside. You see, because your biblical scriptures came from where? It came from the Kabbalistic scriptures. Did you know that? So look, you know, they try to demonize what 66 was, 666 was, you know, like, like I said was, because currently we, we, we were hip. We're understanding. We're getting an understanding for what's going on. That's why they say understanding. You got to understand what's inside. Just like they said, if they want to hide information from you, they're going to put it in the book. Right? So if they want to hide something that much more important from you, they will hide it internally. They will trap you internally. So therefore you don't reach within you're always looking for something exterior. That's why they gave you something to worship on the outside. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about it. You got to you gotta raise your vibrations first and figure out who you are and what your purpose is first, you know, before you start figuring out external sources. Because what, what happened is most people are sitting around praying for something when you're actually in control. See, if like, think about it like this. If your God, your creator set you here and they gave you all the tools to be who you are and be successful with being who you are, right? That that God, just think about it, would want, would, would be looking at you like, yo, what the fuck? I gave you everything that you need, you know? So it's, it's, it's on you. A lot of people are sitting around waiting for something to happen for them, waiting for somebody to save them when that's not it. We save ourselves, y'all. We save ourselves. That's why a lot of people are in certain predicaments now because they're waiting for people to come save them when we save ourselves, you know? And, and when you sit around waiting, you become weak, docile, you know? So it is what it is. Let's hop back into this, though. Check this out, though. Earth has a heartbeat. Yes, it does, and it's known as the Schumann Resonance. You may have heard about this and how the sun has been affecting the Schumann Resonance. Also, keep in mind that our entire biological system the brain and the earth itself works on the same frequencies. As organisms inside of earth's body, we are the cells inside of earth's body to keep earth alive. And as the sun is affecting the Schumann resonance, the cells inside of earth's body, which is us as organisms, become affected by the sun's UV rays or solar flares by the sun. So as we continue as a collective to raise our consciousness and vibration, earth's heartbeat will continue to raise in frequency. I've seen this picture about the Schumann Resonance on TikTok, but I'm not actually sure if it's real or not. But it's there real. are real pictures of the Schumann Resonance. What I do know for a fact is there is a shift taking place on Earth right now, which is affecting the Earth's vibration as a whole, which is causing the planet to heat up because of the spiritual awakening. Okay, this is 
is the past 24 hours. I woke up this morning and thought, I'm going to see a rainbow today. It's December. I live in New England. I go out on my morning walk and sure enough, there's a rainbow. But I was too awestruck to get a picture of it and I was bedazzled by dandelions in the winter. And then as I looked up into the sky, I saw these got a male and female bald eagle just soaring over the water. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, there was a second rainbow. There's literally another fucking rainbow as I'm filming this. Let's see if we can get it. Can you see it in there? Can you see it back there? Three rainbows, one day. It's December. What is going on? You ain't Lots of people listen up. You vibration, you ain't gonna make it through this shit. The frequency gonna go so high. This is just the start of this, man. They can't stop our rise. The planet is in on this. Nature, man. But the shit that they trying to come with, you got to be on the defense still. Like, okay, this is a part of the war. But it's deeper than that. You can, you can impact the war if you get back into your magic. See what I'm saying? Cast out righteous intents. Ask for protection. For the protective forces to step in with you on your intents. You can do that type of stuff. This is, you can do this from the crib. They know that too. That's why they kept you busy. At work all day, at school all day as a kid, then when you get home, you hit you with homework. After homework, you want to go outside and you want to play your game. Then it's time to go to sleep and get up. You only got 24 hours right in their day, so that's a whole new day, right? Time is of the essence, right? No, it was all lies. They keep you busy. Cause if you ain't, if you sitting there idle, you you can start going within, start thinking, start paying attention, start working on yourself. You gotta, you have to understand that it's an energetic battle for energy. Go f yourself. Go f yourself. Is that clear? Go f yourself. Hey, what's up, family? Today we'll be talking about how Mother Earth has awakened. She has been handing out ass whoopings to all those who are evil and wicked. But she also been raining down blessings for those who go by the universal law. In order to stay in Big Mama's house, you have to go by the rules. They are scared, saying the earth could be destroyed by 2025. But you guys must understand, 2025 equals 9, the year of completion. So from 2023 to 2025, it's an event taking place. These are the new energies and upgrades that have been going on. We have been having huge solar flares hit the planet, X being the highest solar flare. We used to have A and B solar flares. We don't even have them no more. We have all, all right. big ones. We are rapidly reaching solar maximum. This is when more solar flares will hit the Earth. This is also the cause of the poles shifting. Now they know that when these poles shifts, we will instantly be online and our DNA will be unlocked. All of this stuff is connected with each other. When the poles flip, this is also a sign to let you know that we have reached the age of Aquarius. We are still at the end of the Piscean age. That's why our powers are still halfway unlocked. But when this new energy come in, boy oh boy, now we usually get all of our energy from the sun. But some high plasma energy hit our planet and scientists didn't know where it came from. The frequency came from headquarters. This is our original sun. And they just start hitting the earth with frequencies for the first time ever. All the energies that have been hitting the earth is called solar radiation. Some races could absorb these radiations, but some can't. 
This energy is literally taking people out of you not on the right frequency. Not only that, but when you check the weather, you're supposed to check the UV index also. This literally tell other races when they should and shouldn't come outside. You guys pay attention. This new energy is altering our frequency and changing our physical form. We are getting new crystal bodies. What I mean by that, our blood is starting to turn into crystals. Our blood is being upgraded to the next stage, and people are saying that we would be bulletproof in the future. Our DNA have literally been changing. We are going from a two DNA strand to a three DNA strand. Our junk DNA is not just being unlocked, but it have been getting upgraded for the last couple of years. They know that the power grid will be down soon. All of our electronics was made with low frequencies. Technology is against the universal law. You don't have to believe me. Go sit your iPad or iPhone out in the sun and see what happens. It will overheat and explode. Not only that, when you guys see these natural thunderstorms take place, it will knock out all the power in your city. So yes, technology is against the universal law. So these next couple of weeks, be looking towards the power grid going down. This is also why you have Elon Musk setting up Starlink. When you see the train of stars in the sky, that is Elon Musk project. Mm -hmm. When the power grid goes down, these satellites are supposed to shoot down frequencies and they will give certain people electricity. But lately, the frequency been knocking them right out the sky. They've been falling down in people's backyards. Go check it out. So to wrap this lecture up, Mother Earth has awakened and her two sons are helping her out. Not the S-O-N, but S-U-N. They are cleansing the planet and getting rid of anything unnatural. I hope you guys like the lecture. Peace and abundance. Hey, check this out, though. Like, you got to think, man. They've been saying all of this stuff like right in front of us, man, like the, the solar radiation storms and stuff like that. We've been speaking about this for a while, you know, the Schumann resonance. I know when I brought that to the channel, start speaking about the Schumann resonance. A lot of people was like, yo, that's crazy, you know, but I'm, I'm happy that we are getting an understanding for, you know, I'm not saying we're 100 percent on this and you know how to read the charts and everything, but you're getting more familiar. And that's all it takes, man. I just wanted y'all to see that stuff, man. Smash that like button. But look, let me know, man, like as a child. It, it, I think these devices and stuff are low vibration because you know what? I remember having more fun before we were locked down in screens in the house, just staring at screens and playing video games. I had more fun outside as kids and stuff, as teenagers, we, we were in crazy shape because we was outside running. We used to play this game called look manhunt when you go find each other and stuff, hide and seek all of that, man. We used to, we used to make games and everything. It had a time in my life. Those are the memories. But you got to think the children that we have now aren't really having those memories. But luckily, I'll be real with y'all. My daughter loves to go outside and play. We, we climb trees. I know y'all seen pictures on my Instagram and everything. We love to climb trees and everything. I'm just happy that she just doesn't want to be stuck to devices all day. Let me know how your kids react to stuff, man. Because I know some kids out here that's addicted to these things. But look, let's keep going in this video, though. It's crazy. As a community, let's, 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 let's comment in the comments down below. Let me know how things are going for y'all. Y'all remember when we said the earth is coming along and something along them lines? Stop and watch the video. Look at this. <clears throat> yeah. The planet is coming alive. It looked like it's inhaling and exhaling. Like it's gonna eat your ass. <laughs> Do y'all see this? Y'all can't tell me our planet ain't alive. I mean, we know it's alive for sure. I ain't gonna cat that dog scared the fuck out of me. But y'all can't <laughs> tell me our planet ain't alive. <clears throat> we're definitely going into an age where we're gonna start seeing a lot more strange, strange, strange things. The planet frequency is rising. The planet is coming alive. We keep seeing it. Let me know what y'all think about this peculiar video in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. If y'all want to see more exclusive content, follow me on YouTube.
Pay attention, yo. They keep telling us the truth in all these movies. Listen. Pay attention. Real shit. Earthquakes keep happening because there's really some shit going on in Hollow Earth. What's bigger than him? You got a baby? That's not Kong right there, bro. Y'all see this shit? Bro, don't look at it as a movie, bro. See that? See the pyramid? Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. He coming out of Antarctica, right? Who that nigga? Be a banger. It is gonna be a banger. <laughs> it is Look, gonna be a banger. That's the Godzilla and King Kong new movie that's about to come out in 2024. Y'all see that shit? They keep telling us about Agartha in, in plain sight, bro, because they need us to know before some shit take place. You feel me? Wake up! All right, so y'all remember that, right? Remember the videos? Like, I did a lot of videos. Remember the one uh, when they were talking about the giants underground that was discovered and stuff? All right, check this out now. Now, this next clip right here is leading into something. It's a show called Monarch. Now, Monarch is talking about the same thing. I watched that show. They got a couple episodes out right now on Apple TV. But look, just check it out, though. We're going to explain some more. Monarch was there in San Francisco. When the whole city was coming down, these guys were taking pictures like they'd been waiting for it. You think that your father was working for them? This stuff wasn't a safe. Who are they? What's Monarch? This is the world we live in. Monsters are an inescapable reality. Those files belong to us, and they are more important than you could possibly imagine. This is gonna give me nightmares. Now you can choke down that monarch lie. About your father disappearing. Or we can find out what really happened. Before it's too late. Oh my god, no, no, no. This world, it's not ours. Believe me. It is so much more vast than we could possibly imagine. These monsters 
and monarch have taken everything from me. No more. The world is on fire. If you want to save millions of lives, we can use some help. Y'all yeah, tracking though? Y'all tracking that, that, that? That's just why. Why they keep showing us this? But look, I ain't gonna hold y'all like that shit. Better not be real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? We got enough problem going on with each other. You talking about some big monsters coming out the ground? Absolutely not, nigga. Just send us, send us solar flare. I need my upgrades so I can be able to fight against some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Let's be realistic. If something like that was to, was to happen in real life, what are y'all doing? What are you? What is your contingency plan for that? That's, like, that's not something that you thought about, right? You, you th We thought about zombies and all this other stuff. But not no big-ass monsters like that. That's, that's crazy. The bunkers won't work, y'all. I'm just going to let you know that. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, that's crazy though. You see how they had the people that was uh taking pictures like they already knew what was happening. And you seen the, the government was holding the documents and stuff like I don't know. It's kind of weird though. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below though. Very interesting though. But hold on to that name Monarch. We're gonna go deeper. Keep watching. The science. What's today's <laughs> mathematics? Yeah. Day this is, by the way, this isn't even my chain. I stole it from somebody. Yeah. I'll tell y'all who that was off camera. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Still a chain now? Uh -oh. Yeah, Not really still. Yeah, no. <laughs> Does it mean anything to you though? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm with you. <laughs> I don't like the conversation either. Like, like, I call myself the God because I feel like it sometimes. That's, I just, I, I study right. little lessons, but I'm not yeah. into all, you know. Yeah. I, rich, religion is like a personal computer, you know, you, you let people in if, <laughs> if you want to. But in Long Island, they had the gods and the earths, you know, like the 5% nation, the nation of Islam. It's not the same thing, but affiliated in, in a way. It always like was intriguing to me because they was out there hustling and doing their thing, but at the same time, they had a lot of knowledge. I had a group of friends in school and we were all interested in this information. And we were actually cut out of school to go to the library because we realized that school wasn't teaching us about our, the, the history of our culture and our people. I had bumped into some other books that these Muslim brothers used to sell on the streets. The author was Dr. Malachi Z. York. His books, just opened my eyes even wider. Simple things, like when you say amen after you pray, like where does that come from? Like the origin of the Bible, the origin of the Quran. And I came across the word Illuminati. I wanted to put what I was learning into the music, but I didn't want to turn the fans off. So I decided to like plant seeds. About a year later, after this song comes out, Jay-Z drops his debut, Reasonable Doubt, and on it he has a song called The Evils. What is the, the Illuminati? Like, if, if you could break down what it is that we're actually talking about when we say Illuminati. It's a group that was uh, formed like in the 1700s, something like that, 1600s. This dude named Adam Weishaupt. He started this group of people, like powerful, rich people that basically could shape popular opinion and the way, you know, the world is gonna move forward. The word means like the illuminated ones. Light is like information. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you see the light now. I, I found out the origin of the information that they were teaching. It basically comes from this group called the Essenes in Egypt. These are like the original black culture. They're like the scholars, doctors, scientists, esoteric thinkers, and, and they just knew how to do stuff. Like, for example, look at the pyramids. Nobody understands how the pyramids were built. These are the people that had that knowledge. I, Horus, the pyramid, those are artifacts and things from, from black culture. They represent certain things of our people from ancient black history of, of Egypt. You know what I mean? Ancient Egypt. You got these group of people, they, they break into the tombs, they steal the riches, like the gold and the mummies, and they rape and pillage our culture. 
Yeah, they got you thinking your own people and your own artifacts and your own symbolism is evil. We building. Keep watching. Y'all need to look that up. It's called the Tyrone's Maze Rat Experiment. It went down in 1940. He ended up getting it from another uh, psychiatrist in 1840. It's called the Tyrone Maze Rat Experiment. And what they did was they took a few hundred rats, right? And they split them and they divided them. And what they did was they created an environment for both of these rats to live in. In one subject, they took about 100 rats and they put it in an environment where it had clean water. They put it in an environment where it had the right amount of space for the rats can you know get basically if they wanted to be by themselves they mm -hmm. could mm -hmm. they made sure that it was good food in there that didn't have any type of poisons put inside the foods they even gave them space to breathe to go upstairs downstairs they just gave them this abundant environment right mm -hmm. they put these rats in there mind you these are the same rats with the same genetical molecular structure with nothing different they both came from the same mama the same daddy the same family tree right so they took these rats they put one in a good environment then they put the other hundred rats in a bad environment where they didn't get water if they did get water the water actually had acids in it they made sure they didn't give them the regular food i think they gave them like cat food or something like that Crazy. with a bunch of pellets that was inside of them right they stuck them on top of each other and they made sure that the space was very very small they never cleaned any poop out of the maze they never cleaned they pissed out of the maze and they left them in there they left them in there for four months and they watched how their behavior changed they went back and they got the actual rats that came from the good environment and they put them in the maze they ended up going through the maze very very fast then they ended up going to get the rats that they put in the bad environment and put them in the maze and they didn't know how to even make it through the first section of the maze so he like maybe this is a coincidence so he did it so what he did was he switched the rats he took the rats that was smart that made it through the maze that was in the good environment and he put them in a bad environment then he took the rats that was in a bad environment that was dummies that couldn't make it through the maze at all and he put them in a good environment he waited four months then he took them back out the same rats that was good and smart that was in a good environment that he put in a bad environment now they couldn't make it through the maze the same rats that was in the bad environments that was dummies that couldn't make it through the maze he put them in a good environment now they making it through the maze and making it through life just fine so he said damn it ain't the genetics it ain't, it ain't who these people is as individuals. It's the community. It's the environment that you put these biological entities in that changes the way they interact with. We build it. Keep watching. It's crazy. Experiment first for they built projects. Whoa. They built these projects to contain us. Right. Whoa. That's and what it was. You notice all projects are surrounded by freeways. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. of the way to concentrate all the black people in one area, some shit break out. Mm -hmm. They can roll tanks down the freeway so they did a test in like either the 50s or the 60s called the rat test and they actually took crates of rats and stacked them up and just left them alone and they watched it over time they fed them gave them water but over time they killed each other off so the folks who designed that system already knew how the projects were going to be when you put people on top of each other but the main thing is they kept us away from the so-called them you know what i'm saying so the projects would be like Do you know what a rat king is? Uh-uh. Oh my god, it's a terrible story. This is the theory now, I don't know if people ever did this. So imagine you're in villages full of rats. So now you go catch 10 rats, you throw them in a pit. Soon, there is one rat, because he gets all the other rats. He's a champ. Then you throw 10 more rats in there. Soon there's one rat, you do that three or four times. Then you take the remaining rat and you let him go. And soon there are no rats in the village. Really? That's the theory. Wow, so he... <laughs> It was like the toughest of them all. Yeah, and then he learns to eat rats. Wow. So think about that. The rat king, you know, like they, 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 man, a lot of experiments, you know, it happens on animals and stuff. And they try to see how they would react. And look, man, it translates into real life. But you, you, you see how a lot of people get incarcerated and all they know is, you know, violence and stuff like that. Woo, woo, woo. You put them in these bad neighborhoods, quote unquote, with no resources, you know, uh, little to eat. A lot of kids go home outside of school and have nothing to eat. The only time they eat is when they're in school, right? Being fed by who? You know, the government, taxpayers' money, stuff like that, pretty much still into the system. All they know is feeling helpless, lonely, hungry, and what are they going to do for it? They're going to go out here and try to take and harm, right? So when you could find these people and you keep them in that cycle and then you release them, it's a lot of people with super violent crimes and then they'll just release them. 
you know, like get two years for a murder. And then all of a sudden you think that's going to stop there. These people obviously have been through a lot and they need to be rehabilitated, but that's not what the system is made for. It's not meant to rehabilitate. It's meant to profit and gain, conquer and keep you down. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's continue to go. I'm just hitting y'all on every level with this video right here. And it's going to go into some other shit. Remember what we talked about before. Remember, it's not just about monsters, about monarch. It's about people becoming monsters as well. But remember the monarch moniker again, right? We're going to go into some more. I noticed last week you had the most adorable, pretty eyes. Do you have a boyfriend? No, sir. Why not? They're mean. <laughs> Boyfriend? Why would he ask a child that? Creepy, right? You mean all boys are mean? I'm not mean. How about me? Well, it depends. I get that a lot. Um... You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. Break up this spasm of publicity about what happened in from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness. Hello. Ew, strong Um, yeah, it was a weird. That's crazy. They had her doing that NPC shit before it even started. You gotta think that shit is on TikTok going crazy. NPCs, they talk just like that. Oh, hello, thank you. Ooh, gummy bears, yummy. Crazy. She was the NPC before that shit started. Ew, I'm in the first. Can we?
Okay, so last week, guys, I made a dress. It's really proud, done in panel, slip in the back, a girl can help me sew it. She sent me a dress I didn't have to make myself. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm just saying, okay, now I'm so proud. I didn't even have to make it myself. Thank you, company, for sending me this dress. Thank you. And that shit crazy, y'all. Uh... So, guys, I just want you to know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. No, don't ever be a roller coaster. I got this dress as well. Thank you, She ran fast as hell from the side, didn't she? You mean everyone in the country wants Britney Spears to kill herself? Britney was chosen a long time ago to be built up and adored and then sacrificed. You know what though you see the same trend with like what's happening with like kanye right so it's not just a color thing they're sacrificing somebody that's adored and stuff like that because it's deemed to be what more powerful pretty much but look check this out though the same thing with him every time it's the same rotation oh he goes crazy they send him somewhere to get something done he comes out a completely different nigga looking completely different don't he Nigga came out married last time didn't he with the big ass shoulders and weird haircut with a bald head white girl and shit. Another one. This shit crazy. He said he was done with white girls. Then the next thing you know, he, 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 he was with one. It wasn't the same nigga. Like, I don't know. That's just what I think. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. It's crazy. And you can see that they was, uh, you see how they was talking to children back then? That's, that's, just, that's strange. They weren't paying that close attention back in the day like that publicly. People just thought that shit was normal. Leaving a better planet for our kids. How about leaving better kids for our planet? Entire generation offended at everything, getting mad that a human thinks all lives matter. We don't need black or white or left or right. What we need is common sense. We need balance. We're all in the same boat. Why are you trying to make holes? If they sink, we sink. This is madness. I'm appreciate how this could be done. You need to appreciate something called trauma-based mind control. During the last war in the concentration camps of Germany. They started to perfect the manipulation of a natural mechanism in the mind that shuts out trauma. If you could systematically traumatize someone and start with children, particularly um, before the age of five and six, you could turn their minds into a honeycomb of self-contained compartments, none of which was aware of the other's existence. They start with, uh, they start with wanting to make me an obedient slave at first, and so... They do a lot of sensory deprivation, they do a lot of sensory overload, and they switch between the two, and they do out-and-out -out torture. They take a small child and uh, a electroshock. In my case, it was electroshock to the brain. Artists uh, wearing this leopard print, this is what they're getting across to you, right? You can even see Cat Williams, you know, he was so-called so, so against the agenda. You know, he even spoke about the Hollywood parties. What he probably didn't mention right. is uh, he probably went into one of the rooms, right? He said he opened the door, but he didn't really tell you what happened after that, right? Right. We got Rihanna. We got basically all the prominent women in, in, in Hollywood, right, wearing the same leopard print, right? Even even Kanye. And I made I made a, a point uh, to, to find more male celebrities. I mean, you, you type in their name and type in leopard print. You're going to see them wearing it, right? So these folks is getting turned out, right? NBA young boy, right? And what do we see him doing now? Wearing makeup, lipstick. They turned him out. This is what they do to these people. 
They put these people under MK Ultra and turned them out. Got them doing shit that he was never doing. Right? This this one finna hurt this one finna hurt a whole lot of feelings. Even young okay. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, damn, who he finna say? But here you got, you know, like like father, like son. You got Will Smith and his son, Jaden. And we seen them. We seen Will Smith. Like I be I be I be feeling tight about this sometimes because you know we grew up watching this stuff, y'all. Subliminals right in our face and everything. What we said, what have we been seeing on this channel, bro? Like even in all the cartoons we came up on, they had the Anunnaki and the and 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 and, and, and all these weird little uh you know messages in all of the cartoons. It's no exceptions. They put it in everything. That's why if your kids are watching cartoons, y'all sit down and watch it with them. Now that y'all getting hip to stuff, just see what's in there and it's crazy the stuff that you'll find like in mickey mouse you'll find penises and everything <laughs> I'm trying to get to him younger and younger It's hypnosis, says Izzy, with the diamond serpent sparkling from his neck. This is a screenshot I took like maybe three years ago, four years ago now, from Lil Izzy's uh, Instagram. Let's take a look at it, y'all. By their fruit, ye shall know them. So we see CERN, right? We know CERN is very occultic. It has to do with chaos magic. What you're looking at though right here is sigil magic. It's a mix of sigil magic and chaos magic. So there's your CERN imagery. You have Crazy. all the monarch programming imagery, like the little happy faces, the entities, the interdimensional beings, the little green men. Um, and you notice all the yin yangs around. Uh, Yin Yang Yin Yang is a uh, it's the symbol it's the symbol of duality it's uh, and duality is the core of Luciferianism. Uh, this whole face this whole thing is a face like there's eyes. I wish I could point them out more easily. But um, then we get up to the dead head. Uh, the dead the steal your face. Um, it's got the red and blue for Kabbalah, and we all hopefully know that the Tavistock Institute. Uh, orchestrated the Grateful Dead. Uh, so the Grateful Dead is a CIA asset. Um, and look, Mickey ascends. He ascends. Yeah, Mickey Mouse, you know, created by the Rosicrucian, uh, you know, Mickey, uh, Disney. And see, look, he, he ascends to the color green because he's supposed to be like Thoth. <laughs> so more comedic magic. So we have chaos magic. Um, sigil magic and comedic magic present here. And uh, yeah, like Lil Uzi said, y'all, it's hypnosis. And you see the bat signal? You see the bat signal? Now, I want y'all to go look this up. It was, one of, it was a celebrity that just passed away. He drowned, right? And he was talking about a bat signal, right? So y'all go go find that, man. I'm gonna be dropping some gems for y'all, but you know, I'm not here to explain every little micro detail. I'm just here to point you in the right direction and you know, just kind of look into some weird things and have some conversations, y'all. Nothing crazy. Be careful. He didn't say be careful, but I'm saying be careful. Because dude be telling y'all. Dude be telling you straight. It's hypnosis. Are you hypnotizing yourself? People ain't gonna take it serious because they 
and low my vibration comments anyway. on one of my posts and somebody made a real valid point to me and then I started really thinking about it. But Pete is right. Projects, project, projects, project. When you stay in the projects, these people can basically come in your house whenever they get ready. They can tell you who can be in and out of your house. You feel me? If your baby daddy come over, they can pretty much put you out for even letting him come over to your house. They really just think about it, bro. Everybody that you let stay with you, they want no folks' name, they want no folks' number, they want their social security number, they want their date of birth. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't find that weird. They so say, y'all remember they cloned Tyrone when they was like somebody's conducting experiments on us? Experiments, projects. Just think about it, bro. You know somebody on Section 8, think about how long they really been on Section 8. These folks get y'all on there and get y'all comfortable with living like this. Some on got roaches, some on got rats. But I guess as long as you got somewhere to stay, that's all that matter, right? These people can literally walk in your house at one in the morning if they wanted to. But man, these folk don't want us to elevate. They don't want our minds to expand. They want us stuck in the same place. You feel? But when you on housing, you can't even make a certain amount of money or they'll actually kick you out like you making too much money to even be staying here, you feel me? That's how you know they want you stuck in that same spot forever. Think about it, the grandma died on housing, the mama got on housing, the daughter on housing, it's a, it's a, it's a reoccurring cycle. I said keep it real for a minute, it's majority of wet color that stay in the projects or on section eight. But they scared of our people, they scared of our people elevating, bro. Do y'all know how powerful we really are? Melanin is the biggest threat to them right now, melanin people. Have y'all peeped how now they starting to tear the projects down? You feel me? They starting to rebuild them, give them these fancy names, make the inside look like luxury. It's still Section 8. And they doing that to make y'all more comfortable. Now, nah, them folks making y'all comfortable with where y'all at in life. You feel me? Them folks can still run in your house when they get ready. And not to mention the cameras and stuff that's out there. Them folks watching y'all every move. They getting y'all used to this. So when they start putting us in them concentration camps and start doing all the other mess, Y'all already know that y'all already know the procedure. Y'all already know how it works. I remember this scene and they cloned Tyrone when they were watching everybody on the cameras. A particular type of people. When you see this, 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 when you see the checkerboards on the floor, when you see the skull and bones, when you see the signs and symbolism, when you slow down the music, Jay-Z new video with Nas and DJ Khaled. It's a scene where it's checkerboards. This is, these are all occult, Satanist, symbolic symbols. So, so, so what I'm saying is, is, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't, and me personally, I've been in music for a minute, had deals and all that, bro. I don't give a fuck about this shit. But what I, what I know, for me, I study so I know when I see it, so I know what to avoid. Cause niggas could be trying to sacrifice your ass and you don't even, you're not studying. God told us to read and be knowledgeable. So when I see Jay-Z, go, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? You're not no gang member. You got checkerboard floors in your shit. You got skull and bones. You, what does this mean? Because it, it, what it, it's not just there. You look at Cardi B's album cover, it's checkerboard. You look at Dream Dog, now she's the checkerboard too. Like, I'm not, y'all niggas, these, let me tell you something. These motherfuckers sell their soul, they practice witchcraft. What does that mean though? They, what it means, what, what, what it means. What does the checkerboard mean? It means mind control. So you got classical conditioning and you got operational conditioning. So what they do is they use they use programming. So MK Ultra. Yeah, but it's so it's so it's it's, it's to push an agenda. Let's just be clear. When you see this, when you see this, when you see this, when you see this, when you see this. Let's make this clear. On this channel, we have reviewed videos of uh like Cardi B and stuff like that glitching out. Huh. And then they give her trigger words and then she'll come back too, right? Y'all have all seen that. Let me know in the comments down below if you review the videos that I've dropped on that or if you've seen them on TikTok or YouTube somewhere else. But if you notice in those videos how the people behind her that have nothing to do with the interview, the people that are there with her though, react. Something was behind the camera and they were shook too and they looked away. Everybody got very uncomfortable, you know? And they give her like a three word command and she'll come back too. Think about it. We've seen major celebrities like on live TV glitch out and they give them commands and they'll come back too. Rocking checkerboards, but everything is just a coincidence, huh? Right. Let's get back to it, y'all. Smash that like button.
breaking news coming out multiple states water systems have and what they say on clone tyrone like they was a uh, poisoning everything to keep you where they're keeping you at a low vibration just so they can keep tricking you out of your position and finding out who you are and how powerful you really are but look check this out though like check this out this just happened right here with the water and this is why i tell y'all get y'all a distiller go on account go in the uh, description there you ain't got to click my link for the dis distiller go google one find one yourself but i got a link for one that i personally use and i vouch for because it works for me but you know it's in it's, it's in the description y'all you got stuff down here that really really help you you know prepare yourself i've been hit the fbi has confirmed uh this just coming out here in the past 48 hours i'm going to be sharing with you the latest articles on this uh, as you can see here, this one coming out from NBC News. Breaches by Iran-affiliated hackers spans multiple U.S. states, federal agencies say. The CISA did not say how many organizations were hacked or otherwise described them. However, more information is coming out there saying that they do believe uh, that there are uh, less than 10, but more than four different states that have been hit as information is coming out on this. This in the past 48 hours as well, and you can see right there the logo, what it looks like. Iran linked cyber attacks, threatened equipment used in the United States water systems and factories. Here's another one. Iranian cyber attacks targeted Israeli tech used by several U.S. bodies. They're specifically going for ones that use these particular systems. Uh, and as I mentioned, the original one we saw uh, about a week or so ago, breaches that affected Pennsylvania Water Authority, other utilities and aquariums using these devices that manage water processes Hackers manage uh, message says that Israel made equipment is a legal target and they are hitting these different companies and wait till you see the response from the FBI on this as they're saying if they can hit Pennsylvania, they're going to be hitting other ones and they're saying thank goodness though that when that one was hit, as I mentioned to you immediately they realized they were hit, they shut the system down so they cannot overtake it or do anything to cause issues with the water. And then they said that the operators went in and manually turned the water back on so there was no disruption of water systems. But let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think that there's going to be more of these getting hit? Because we heard about one. Now in the past 48 hours, they're saying multiple are coming out. And I let you know yesterday that the U.S. says Iran was responsible for the hit on the ships in the Red Sea. They are claiming this. And now this coming out that multiple states now are reporting that they are being hit by these cyber attacks and you can see that they're all getting this screen on here uh, for their systems that are shutting down. Do you think that we're going to be experiencing more water attacks against our systems? If you think so, please put a one. If you think no, that we're going to stop them, please put a two. Let me know your thoughts in the comments um, and see as well if everybody can hear me and see me okay. One thing for sure, if any attack on us, I'm telling you, with the technology and everything we have, one thing we do know is that they're working together. So, well, well, I think I got to say that on here. But look, um, if it does, if they do get our water contaminated, right, in a massive way, we allowed that to happen. It didn't just happen. We allowed it, okay? Because there's a lot of different protocols to get into these places and to be able to do something on this type of scale to get our water system compromised. So we got to keep that in mind. So we know where to look if these things are to happen to us. So if you think that these are going to continue and that they're going to hit more of these, please put a one. If you think, no, that we're going to be able to stop this, put a two. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I see we've got several people on now, 1,180 people on live with me right now. Um, I see that Jonathan is saying this is just the beginning. Uh, somebody said that it's fine they're hitting their water. Well, I, I don't know about that. You know, they hit these water systems. Luckily, they're shutting them down, stopping them from doing any further damage. But here's the thing is that this is drinking water. What if they stop water altogether? Uh, you know, let me stop them right there. That's that's we got to stop calling it drinking water. That is absolutely not drinking water. That is toxic by itself. So, I mean, we talking about people contaminating our water. It's already contaminated. I'm dropping a video on my vlog channel about this water thing. And it's it's going to get crazy for y'all. What if they, they uh, I'll let y'all know to the water? The concern is, is the water safe? It's not and in Pennsylvania. As I mentioned, uh, they had to reassure those receiving these waters uh, from the water system that went down that it was OK. But a lot of people were very concerned. Well, now they're saying it's not just Pennsylvania. Multiple states are having their water systems tampered with. And it's all these ones that are linked to this Israeli equipment. They're saying they're hitting, targeting these specifically. 
Iranian cyber attack targets Israeli tech used by several U.S. bodies. And as I mentioned, when the first one came out with Pennsylvania Water Authority, I let you know the latest on it. So, in school, what did you learn? Twelve constellations, twelve signs. Can't hear this than that. There are thirteen. Think about it. There's more things there that they're not going to show you. There's much more than 13 constellations. Take the Hebrew calendar. Take the Gregorian calendar. They never match. The Pope decided that we have to add 17 days, and then we make every fourth year a leap year. So we're supposed to have 13 months. There is a 13th light. Now, you have to ask yourself, what is the name of the 13th constellation? Do you oh. know the name? Oh. Oh. That's the name. It came from the word fair O. It's like the house of God. For example, if you take the 12 constellations, and in the middle, there's another one. 13. Why is it 13? Because in reality, there are 13, not 12 constellations. So why is it that we can't see this 13th constellation? We're gonna leave and she was pissed. And then they said, she goes, this right here is the center, center of, of the, the world. world. This is in Arizona? This yes. is in Arizona. And this really rich guy, he's a, uh, what is it? What? He's a Rothschild. A Rothschild. He bought this town of Felicity and named it after his wife, Felicity. Wait, is this real? Who we yes. think we ran into. Can we make sure that this is real? We visited it. Go for tours of this place. Oh, we did a tour. It was we did a tour of fire. Why? They tried to get us in the center of the pyramid, in the center of the thing, put our foot in the middle, save this thing and make a wish and then sign a contract. And I was like, and we were like, I'm not doing that. And she was like, well, it's the only part of the tour you have to do. And they go. To do the tour. And that's when we said, we don't want to do the tour anymore. We're going to leave. And she was pissed. Spark. And then they said, she goes, this right here is the center, center of, of the, the world. world. They're, they're, this is in Arizona? This yes. is in Arizona. And this really rich guy. Shit's getting weird. Part infinity. You think? Bay Area drivers are honking mad over a new proposal that would charge drivers for using freeways. Not just the express lane, but all lanes. The Metropolitan Transportation Commission, the MTC, is shopping the idea around of a small fee per mile for drivers. That fee would range from 10 to 30 cents, and that has a lot of drivers saying... You got me effed up. That's what drivers are saying. You got me effed all the way to F up. Are you? This is a horrible idea. Somebody came in one day and was like, hey guys, <laughs> I think we should charge people for driving on the freeway. And all y'all were like, yeah. Right. <laughs> y'all must be delusional to think that you're going to pass that and citizens are going to be like, oh, yeah. that's crazy. Listen, <laughs> I'm so ready to stop paying taxes. Like, I'm so ready to not pay taxes this year. But I'm scared because I don't want to be the only one doing it. It's got to be a collective thing because I ain't going to be asked that while everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yo, I'm <laughs> so ready to just be like, you know what? You want this money? Come get it. Come get it. Because I ain't giving it to you. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. Because <laughs> I know y'all be listening and shit. Right, 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 right. But look, how many, how many, uh, you know, how many y'all going for that? Like, you got to understand, like... That feels to me like, oh, if they're it, that's overwhelming because most people nowadays are like, you know, everybody's struggling to pay bills and stuff like that. The price of food is outrageous. Like the price of eggs is crazy. We got to start. Be, we got to become breatharians in no time. You know, we got to get this upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Like, because this is outrageous. We got to start flying. Like, bro, where's my Superman powers? Like, this is absurd. Like, I'd be down. We, I, fuck it, I just get a bicycle, man. Like, it ain't that deep, bro. Being super shaped like a mug. We own the newer Coley stones, and these stones were found. They're just trying to kick you when you're down. That's all I wanted to say, y'all. Just trying to kick you when you're down. Found in a Hopewell mound in the 1860s, and 
the presumption from finding them was that perhaps the American Indians were had some kind of contact with uh, the with the, the Hebrews, or possibly they were the Hebrews. That's another idea. So so we have our the museum has been interested in origins. They took it to some scholars, identified that it was probably some type of Hebrew. They took it to some uh, rabbis living in the area, and upon looking at it, they said yes, they could read it. And it was a complete rendition of the Ten Commandments. They called it Block Hebrew because they had never seen anything written like this, but they called it Block Hebrew. They tried to say that these artifacts were just a hoax. I keep blinking. But who could hoax ancient Hebrew in the 1800s? <laughs> We know the truth now. We build and pay attention. The reason is to get you to question your surroundings and the history you have been told. It is exactly whose history we have learned which is the driving force of this video, as it is his story that does not match up. San Francisco was singled out due to not only the buildings, but the city as a whole whose origins are questionable. Another channel, who goes by the name of Geo Man C, released a video titled, Star Forts, Intro to Resets and Hidden Black History. Resets. Within part one, he showcases a panorama picture that was taken in 1878. As he points out, he, nor I, when watching this, knew of technology and quality that was available during this time. This photograph was taken from an elevated position where the boats upon the water, far off into the distance, can even be seen. The picture showcases a complete city, taken 29 years after a large population was said to appear, with only shovels and pickaxes at hand. The city, its streets, its roads, windows, lampposts and buildings, that even Wicked. for the time appear to predate this already old period, was constructed before the electric drill of 1889 was invented. So. If the city is established, and its people are housed and homed, then why are the streets empty? Where are the workers who defied what we thought was possible for their period? Perhaps they were off building another city in record time. Photographs such as this give an example, and countless others, which showcase empty streets, or a small population, inhabiting buildings, and cities that they seemingly are unable to fill, are all too common to come across when researching the 1800s. Therefore, it is within the 1800s that the mud flood is accepted to have taken place. In a video titled, A Bird's Eye View of History, John Levi discusses maps of cities made within the 1800s. This video and showcased locations are what may help explain the existence of the 1878 panorama shot of San Francisco. A drawn map illustrating Seattle in 1889, was created by a mining and real estate brokers and auctioneers named Llewellyn, Dodge and Company. As is the case with San Francisco, Seattle is looking impressively complete for its period. The illustration even highlights key buildings along its edge, as if to entice people in a way of luring potential buyers to visualize what it is they will inherit when purchasing this package city deal. John gives further examples of many similarly styled advertisements for other cities within this video. And while reviewing the illustrations, he rightfully marvels at the precision of each city block and street. For a people without power tools and without the laser measurement techniques which we have today, they sure did a premium job. They did so well, in fact, that we continue to benefit from their layouts within our modern times and see no reason to correct their symmetry. However, when we do walk these old city streets, there are details that seem to be an odd choice. Within Geo Mancy's video titled, America is the Old World, Reset Observations and Explorations Part 2, he showcases on the ground footage from many locations within the US, all across America, Britain, Europe, and the world. You will find windows going below street level. This is the main source for people's belief in the mud flood. An event caused the earth and water, creating mud, to be spilled out across the continents. The people who came to inherit after this cataclysm then reformed from the level that they were now stuck with. Windows were dug out to allow for light, 
but many others were bricked up, leaving the obvious evidence of an arch. Bridges whose details seemingly sink and continue into a hill does not make sense. Form follows function, and if it was never intended to be seen, then why did the people of old put so much effort into it? It's something to sit there and think about, my people. One thing we do know is what we were taught in school, shit is a complete lie, man. That's why you got to check, man. Today, currently, I think it's we got to be responsible adults. And that goes for everybody, every shade, color, background, whatever, you know check and see what your children are learning in school and it is our duty and if it is if it's possible take them out of those schools and you know uh home teach them because they're being one thing we do know is you're being indoctrinated we know from experience right it happened to us so why would we continue to let that happen to our children you know and and if we can't just take them out of school because you know everybody got their their circumstances and it's things that we are building and we're trying to do now to fix these things but it seems like we're always a step behind right but one thing that we have to do is take action you know in many different ways shapes and forms we have to do our due diligence and we have to you know put our foot down because none of this stuff would be happening if we were you know using our powers to make these changes because one thing that we do know is the government don't govern us we govern them they make decisions based off of us but one thing that we forgot is that we are the ones in control. Like when Biden said, we the people to the people in the uh, room with them, all the you know politicians and stuff. He's like, no, we the people, we're talking about us. He was talking about them, not us. So they think that they're elite and they're above everybody and they make the decisions. And what we have to understand as a people is that's absolutely the furthest thing from the truth. And one thing that you know we see happening is they want to destroy everything before the land gets turned back over to its rightful owners and it's only a matter of time but it is what it is yo you know what i'm saying together we rise we tribe together we thrive together we die together you know what i'm saying we can only go up from here raising our vibrations raising our children the right way with respect and dignity and honor you know what happened to us being honorable people you know and I'm not just speaking these things, I'm backing it up. And y'all can see that on my vlog channel. You'll see everything about me. I am who I say I am, and I stand on that. So y'all come to me on my other channel, Tribing with Dre, and y'all see everything for what it is. And hopefully y'all can implement some things and I can learn some things from y'all. I read the comments and we build together, right? Nobody is above one another. I'm not above nobody. I'm not better than anybody. It's a lot of things that you can probably do better than me and I learn from. I'm very observant. But I do appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Share these videos with your friends and families. And like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out though. Wow.